in this project, we're going to use dark colored paper or colored paper. I'm going to choose black. And I'm going to take some white glue and, or any kind of glue you have. If you have glitter glue, you could use that. And I'm going to start on one side of my paper and go all the way to the other side without stopping. So in order to work, make your glue work, it has to be a liquid glue, not a glue stick. And you can peel off any glue that's at the top with your finger and open the orange cap, not the white cap. Then you'll get too much glue. And then you can squeeze it a tiny bit. And if you can hear the air, then your glue should work. Then I'm going to turn it upside down, kind of shake it like ketchup. And start with any kind of line you want. I'm going to start with a wavy line on the edge of my paper and go very slowly all the way to the other side of the paper. And then stop. Now I'm going to start at the top of my paper and I'm going to do a zigzag. So zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, Zag, I'm going to cross it, zig, zag, zig, zag. Hmm, what line should I do next? How about a straight line? Start at the top and go all the way to the bottom in another way. Here I go. Whee! Doesn't that look like fun? Hmm, now what should I do? How about if I put some loop-de-loops? One more line. You want to cross your line. Start at the top. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Go forward, backwards. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Cross over. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Forward, backwards. Forward, backwards. Looks like a spring, doesn't it? Maybe I'll make one more. Mm, I think that's enough. You could, maybe I'll make one loop-de-loop -loop here. But you can make any kind of lines that you want. But it has to start at one side and go all the way to the other side. Don't stop in the middle. Go all the way till you get to the other side. There. Now I have to let my glue dry. Doesn't that look so cool with the black against the white? So I have a newspaper underneath it, so I'm going to move it. If you pick up the glue like this, like this paper, what do you think would happen? All the glue would drip down. So you have to hold it really flat to move it to a dry, where it can dry. Okay, I'm going to move it. All right, I'm going to show you final example. Look what happens to the glue. It gets nice and clear like this and they look like black lines. Then we're going to take some chalk, if you have some chalk, and make patterns inside of those shapes that the glue line made. And then I made a, um, I had it laminated. So you can use it for a placemat if you want to, if you laminate it. You can take it to, um, any place that does laminations. 